our sixth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Here we go again with another useless exhibition of our ego. It's Alex, and it's the Ramble, and we go until midnight tonight. Guess who's here? Yes, once again, it's time for Stephen Kravitz. Hello, Stephen. How are you? Hello, Alex. I'm good. How are you? Good, good. You know, tired as usual, but... Yeah. You know. How was your weekend? Uh, The weekend was uh, uneventful. Nothing much, you know. Uh, stayed indoors a lot because it rained, you know. So did really, it, did it rain up there? Not on Sunday. Sunday, I actually, um, myself and all my cousins got together. Oh, on really? Sunday. And have they all been inoculated and vaccinated? Right. And okay, that must have felt good, huh? It felt great. Yeah. Because you moved out there to kind of be with them, and then all of a sudden you had this COVID thing happen, and right. you weren't able to, so, you know. So it worked out. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so uh, uh, otherwise you are doing okay? Happy as a clam. Y- you know something? It's nice to see you happy. You know? It, it, would you say this is the happiest you've been in years? Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Without question. You're in a good place. I'm in a very good place. Yeah. You know, I I don't know if I'll go back to doing stand up. Why? Well, I've been away from it now for what? Fifteen months? Ten months? Fifteen months? Something like that? Yeah. And I don't really miss it. And you don't really miss it. Well, I don't know. I, I miss doing the shows. Mm-hmm. I don't miss all the nonsense that goes with doing the shows. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't know if I have that hustle in me anymore. Hmm. So, so, so what would you do? I mean, you need some kind of an outlet, right? Right. Well, I'll probably volunteer again with the Special Olympics. Okay. And hopefully I'll finally be able to write something. Yeah. I mean, that's my goal. I'd like to be an author. Okay. Well, then do it. Then do it. It's harder than you think. Well, I know it's harder than you think. Just grab an empty notebook and fill it up with genius. Well, uh, what I'm saying is do it. You know, because that's what you want to do. And you've got the ability, you've got the time to do it. Right, okay? right, right, right. Uh, y- your expenses are being taken care of pretty much by the government, right? Right, pretty much. Right? So you've got all this time to do something you've always wanted to do. Right. So you go ahead and you do it, you know? You're uh, right. I got no argument with you. Like, I find that... Really, I am uh, in that position where, you know, I mean, look, nobody's going to hire me to do a radio show. Right. Okay, nobody's going to hire me to do that. So that being the case, uh, why shouldn't I do things I enjoy doing? Right, you right. Know? Now, I'm trying to figure out whether I enjoy doing this anymore. I mean, not. Right. I don't mean talking to you. I could continue doing that every week and I'd be satisfied, you know. Right. But right, right, but right. but you know doing a nightly show, I'm beginning to wonder whether, you know, I'm I'm happy doing that. You know, so right. I got to figure out what I'm going to do. Well, do you want to write? No. <laughs> I look. I did enough. I did a lot of writing in my time. I mean, more right. than more more than I would like to think that I did. Okay. Because okay. I did um, um, uh, stuff for Hustler. I wrote a column every month for Hustler. Oh, did you? Yeah. 
Uh, and it wasn't about sex or anything like that. It was about all whatever hit me, okay? Right. And I did that for about five years. Well, I didn't know that. You know, having to do a, having a deadline every month. You How know. many words? Uh, average about 1,200. Okay. Okay. It was a column. Uh, and, uh, and because a friend of mine was the editor of Hustler. Okay. And okay. then they cut back on expenses and stuff. And, you know, this publishing business wasn't doing that well. And, the, I, you know, I was first in the door, first out the door. You know, right. last in the door, first out the door, rather. Right, 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 right. So, right. but I, I, so I did more writing than I ever thought I did. And my editor, who was my friend, uh, Bruce David, said, You're a very good writer. You know, so I did a lot of writing. Uh, but I, I but I found it very lonely, you know. I really? mean, yeah. I mean, there's. Uh, it, it, it's not like you you. It, it you sit in a room all by yourself. You can't have anybody in the room with you while you're writing. No, you know you I can't can. have you can't have the TV set on watching the news while you're writing. No, I even I can't, I can't even have music on. That me too. I can't have music on. So I, I found that the the what I was doing was uh, uh, you know trying to uh, uh, I just wasn't able to 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 have anything else but complete utter loneliness in order to write right, right. and I, I I don't like being alone <laughs> you know so it's a very lonely profession. And it's very and long. It's very difficult. And it's very difficult too. You know, it's easier today than it was years ago when I didn't think about writing. When you had to type something out, and then you oh had to God. you had to retype it out, right. and then you had to retype it out. Right. You know, until you got to find out. Well, here I just go through it and I, you know, use the the word processor, and it's it's it, easy peasy. Now, can you touch type? No. No. Do you touch type? No, absolutely. Like that? Yeah. Well, you, you listen, I mean, yeah, I got pretty fast at it. I'm not very good at it anymore because my eyesight's kind of going a little bit and looking at the keys, I, you know. Right. And I, for some reason, I should put on the glasses when I write. But I'm not doing that, and I should do it because then I can see the keyboard better. Well, there you go. That would but, help. But I'm I'm trying to prove to myself I don't need glasses. Okay. Yeah. So good for you. Yeah. Let me know how that works out. What is this? Uh, who am I looking at? Uh, <laughs> no. Now, you sighted or far sighted or both? I'm just reading for reading. I just need glasses for reading. Right. How, how about you? Both. Both. Okay. So you got to. So you got to have prescription glasses, what you? Oh got. yeah. Yeah. I, I never had to have prescription glasses, really. You know, I mean, I went out and did prescriptions every now and then, just to be able to get the right, you know, thing. Instead of going down to the drugstore and trying them all on to see right. which ones uh, made me see best, uh, but. Uh, yeah, these uh, these uh, these usually do okay for me. You're 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 looking okay. Well, here, don't we both look smart now? Oh yeah, yeah. brilliant. Yeah, yeah. A couple of geniuses. So, in other words, you'd rather write. Have you done a lot of writing? Not really. No. So you don't I know. I've attempted to do a lot of writing. I mean, I mean, do you know whether you're good at it or not? My own self personal critique is I am not very good at it. Okay. All right. That's my critique. Okay. Then you're probably pretty good at it. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, you know, it, when you think you're really good at something, you don't get any better. All right. right. So uh, uh, it's really a matter of believing that you're not as good as you think, and that makes you better. You know. Well, it makes you strive to keep keep getting better. I never thought I was that good at what I did. I know I I was okay. Oh yeah. But I never felt that I was, and that right. kept me 
persevering to a point where, right. you know, where I was doing okay, you know. Right. Uh, uh, and, and I think that's, that's one of the reasons I did as well as I did is because I never believed I was that good. Right, 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 yeah. right. I don't think, you know, that you would have a tendency to think that confidence would allow you to be good at something. But actually, well, actually, lack of confidence is what pushes you. Well, ego drives the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, without ego, you wouldn't get out of bed in the morning. Well, but if we went into what we've gone into for ego satisfaction, think again. Right. I mean, right. every, every night when you got on stage, you were facing another crisis of having your self-esteem completely blown out of the water. <laughs> Am I right? Oh, well, well, yeah, walking into a minefield every night. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, I, so who, where, who, I, was, I think I was watching one of those Seinfeld comedians in cars getting coffee, and he was talking with another comedian, and the guy said, it's like going up in front of the enemy every night. Right. You know, and having to fight the enemy, uh, and uh, uh, so well, certainly I, you have to prove yourself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, everybody. They're not, what were you saying? They're not going to give you anything. The audience is not going to give you anything until you've proven yourself. But it, aren't they somewhat on your side, though? I mean, yes. they, they want you to succeed because if you right. succeed, they get their money's worth. Right. They want. They want to laugh. Yeah. But it's it's a deal between you and them, right? And and uh, you're out there every night. It's, I mean, I always appreciated comics for one basic reason, and that was getting out on stage and standing there all by yourself, right? And literally, if you're gonna die, you die alone. Oh yeah. You know. Oh yeah. You really die alone. And uh, and there's no place to hide. There's no place to hide. That's why some people go into improv. Uh -huh. <laughs> so they have somebody else to die with. Right, 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 okay. right, right. But, I mean, when you're a stand-up comic, you get up there, you're, you're, you're naked. You know, right. You, you, uh, and you've only got your own wits and your abilities. Well, and that's it. And slowly that ability gets better and better. Right. People tend to think, oh, you know, comedian must be funny from the day he gets on stage for the first time. No. Uh-uh. No. There isn't a comic who ever was that good. No. You know. Everybody bombs. Well, it's through, isn't it through bombing that you learn? Sure. You know. Also, through success you learn. Oh, of course. You know. But, but do you learn more through failure or success? I'd say that's a jump ball. I'd say e either or. I mean, you learn some things from failure, you learn other things from success. Because and you learn a lot for the journey in between. Because I find you learn more from failure. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because when you fail, you go, I'm never going to do that again. So that's a lesson learned. Yeah, but there's nights... When I know I'm on, mm -hmm. my timing is right, everything is right, and you're just not laughing. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, there are shitty audiences. Oh, they, they, no doubt about it. There are just audiences that just should not be audiences. Yeah, and it wasn't your fault. No, because you know you're on. Yeah, I mean, you know when you're off. Yeah. And you know when you're on. Yeah. And you can be on 100% and it's still bomb. Now, one of the extenuating circumstances, but I, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. God bless you. Wow. It's called allergies. Is that allergies? Yeah, that's an allergic. I can tell my allergic sneeze from a cold sneeze. There's a difference. What's your aller what are you allergic to? Uh, whatever is out there at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so everything. Yeah. Well, what I was going to say, what were, where were we? Where were um, success and failure? Success and failure. I think you learn more from failure because you go, I'm never going to do that again. 
Whereas with success, you go, okay, I, I, you know, I know it works. Right. You know, but, but you learn more from the failures because that is what propels you forward. You know, I once said when I was starting out in this business, what I learned was when you start out in this business, the radio business, you go on the air, I got a radio show. Hey, I'm big shit. Right? Right. I got a radio show. And you think you're goddamn good just simply because you're on the radio. Right. The day you start getting good is the day you realize how much you suck. Okay. Okay. The, well, how the, much you have to learn. And, and I found that was about 10 years in. Really? Yeah, I didn't find that was overnight. You didn't find out you sucked a couple of weeks in. If that had been, you would have been a success a lot faster. No, about 10 years in, you suddenly, one day, you listen to yourself and you go, I suck. And it's from that. If you don't have that day, then you're never going to get good. Right, right. You know, right. You, you have to have that day. I mean, didn't you have that, that day where you said to yourself, eh, I'm not as good as I thought I was? Yeah, especially when it came to acting roles. Okay. You know, acting roles, I can't... Like, the more I watch me, the more critical I become, and the less I like my performance. Even though it's... I mean, there's nothing, you know, to, 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 to back up. I mean, the performance is good. I'm just way too critical at it. Now, do you think of yourself more as an actor or a comedian? I'd like to be considered an actor, but I think I'm considered a comedian. Why is that? Why is what? Why would I rather be? Well, no. Why is that that you think you're you're considered more as a as a comedian than you are as an actor? Because I did more shows as a stand up mm. than I did films or, or TV. Yeah, but wouldn't that be true of just acting in general? I mean, that you're not going to work as much acting as you are. You're going to work being a stand up comedy comedy right, on the stage right. because. Whoops, there are a lot of state. Is that another one of those robo calls? Um. No, but uh, that you, uh, you know, you suddenly realize that uh, where were we? I forgot now. See, I lost my train of thought. No, I lost it with you. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> isn't that a terrible place to be? Uh, uh, let me. Let, oh, well, we, we, we were talking about whether I consider myself more of a comic. Uh, okay, more of a comic than a yeah. Uh, than there are act. more. There are more stages for you to get up on, whether you're getting paid for it or not getting paid for it. Right. As right. The, the more of those than there are movie roles available. Right, and in stand up, you get that immediate, you know, um, immediate response. Yeah. Whereas acting, you don't know until later and you're able to look at the well, dailies or whatever. With, with acting, aren't you working kind of in a vacuum? Yes. You know, like you don't know. In fact, even when, when you see the playbacks and so on, and you go, oh, that's good, that's terrible, that's, I, I like that, I don't like that. You don't know whether you've done well or not till that movie comes out and people look at it. And a lot depends on how it's edited. Yeah. Like this milk commercial I shot, I mean, the editing was absolutely great. It made me look really good. Yeah. You know, I don't remember being that good while we were filming it, but when it aired, I was great. Was it because of the way they edited it? Mm. Yes. Yeah. 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 So you're only as... Here, here's the other thing. With, with I found this with television whenever I worked television. And whenever I, you know, uh, as opposed to radio. With radio, I sat there, I had the control board, I was in charge of everything. Right. The success or failure was mine. Right. With TV, when Same I... Same with stand-up. Same with stand-up. Yeah. When I would go out and do TV, I worked for KGO for a while doing some things for them and so on. There was, you know, there was a producer, there was a cameraman, there was a sound man, there was a makeup right. person, there was a this, there was a that. You, you've got about five, six people that you're all you're depending upon to make you look good. Right. Right. When, That's when, I was job. Doing, when I was doing radio, the only person that could make me look good was me. Right. Right. All right. 
So, so you're in, uh, you're at the behest of other people, and that's why I was always really nice to my crew. So oh, much, always. So much so that when we had a wrap up party for this show, Blog on TV, one of the cameramen came up to me and said, "You know, you're pretty good to work with for talent." <laughs> 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 because they all I sit like around that. they all sit around hating talent. So if you don't treat them well, they're not gonna tell I, you when you got that smudge on your face. They're not gonna tell I, you when your collar isn't upright, you know? I, they're just gonna I, let you die on your own. Uh so I learned early in that case that T V is a collaborative effort, not you. Absolutely. Yeah. You're just the talent. You're, you're the talent. You're no different than yeah. makeup or no, yeah. no different than costuming. You're just the talent. Now, you, in that milk commercial where you came out looking good, if you hadn't had a good person editing it and putting it together and so on, you could have looked just as bad as you looked good. Right, right, right. The director had a lot to do with it. The yeah. worst thing, though, was I had to eat this cupcake. Yeah. And instead of just getting hostess, they got these earthy, crunchy, cherry-filled cupcakes. Yeah. And by the end of the shoot, I couldn't. I was supposed to be ravenous and and chowing down, and then I would spit it into a spit bucket because I wouldn't eat it all. Right. And by the end, when it got close to my nose, the smell of it made me sick. <laughs> and then I had to gobble it down. It, it was, I said, why didn't you just get hostess? <laughs> and the other thing is, I'm shooting a movie at the same time. Yeah. In the movie, I have to be clean shaven. And for the commercial, I needed this. Yeah. I needed this little goatee. Yeah. So they put it on one hair at a time. And then for lunch, they had ribs. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't have any lunch. Because you had the fake mustache. Right, right. But it, it was wild. I mean, I really thought I was in show business. I mean, agents are talking to agents, you know, talking to producers. And when can we have them for the, for the uh, film? When, when do you have them for the commercial? And I mean, it was just great. Yes. When was this when you did the milk commercial? I'd say around ninety nine. Around ninety nine, okay. So that's got milk the whole got milk campaign. Oh, okay. All right. They even wrote a book about it and I'm in the book. Oh really? You mean about the whole got milk campaign? Right, right. And I was the one of the commercials they singled out. Wow. Wow. Well, that must have been pleasurable. I actually got in the breakdowns. We are looking for a Stephen Kravitz type. <laughs> you know, you know the the what was the old joke about the five stages of show business? No. Um, who's Stephen Kravitz? All right. Why don't we hire Stephen Kravitz? Get me Stephen Kravitz. Stage four. Get me a Stephen Kravitz type. Stage five. Who's Stephen Kravitz? <laughs> that show business. That show business in a nut, right yeah, there. Right there, right there. That's the the the. Uh, it's scary. We yeah. we live in a. We've allowed ourselves to be in a very scary profession. Right. Whether it's movies or stand up or radio or television, uh, it's it's a scary business, and you're always. I mean, I. I lasted on the air till I was uh, what seventy four, right? Much longer than most people ever last in this. Right, business. right, right, I mean, right, right. When I think about, oh well, I used to be a big shot, and you know, I'm not there anymore, and whatever, and so on and so forth. I go, yeah, but you had a run. Most people only pray for. I had yeah. a run from 1981 to 2018. Mm -hmm. That's a nice chunk of change. Yep. Yeah. 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 So you can't complain. No. You know. And 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 you didn't respect it that much because you did drugs. So I'm Really? I, well, I'm saying you didn't respect it because I respected my talent enough that I didn't do drugs. Why? Right. Because I felt it would in, in, inhibit my abilities. 
So I was very careful with that. There was a time when I did Coke, but I don't know if that's that bad. You know, when well, when it comes to performing. The thing is, is I had more periods while I was performing of being clean than I had of being, you okay. know, strung out. All right. Okay, all right, good. I had more yeah. periods of being clean, yeah. absolutely. Hey, listen, you know something? We've run out of time here. Really? Boy, I love talking with you. I, yeah, I, I tell people the reason I love talking with you is you're smart. <laughs> you wow. Know? You know, That's the glasses talking. It's the glasses talking. Uh, and the glasses are half full. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's talk next week. All right. Ladies, well, the, well, well, we'll, we'll talk about that after we're through here. But that's Stephen right. Kravitz, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, hey, goodbye. thanks for listening, folks. C'est Gabnet, la grande broadcast never cam, ricain. Par les radios comme vous n'en avez jamais entendu. Okay. Hey, for the, we're doing that for the people out there who speak French. Okay. Why am I, uh, why am I so uh, weird here? I, I don't know. I don't understand it. Uh, all of a sudden, I'm like uh, causing a little, there's a little lag here. I don't understand it. Oh, well. Ah, I give up on all of this. This is too much for me. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, let me see here. Um, hmm. Why am I not uh, not uh, not doing as well here? You know, I'm I'm I'm. For some reason, we are. Let me just try something here, folks. Uh. I am, I don't know why, I am out of sync tonight, and I'm, I really don't understand it totally, uh, but we're, we're going to try and see if we can fix this up here a second. Let me see if I get this just right. Well, no, it's not right. It's not right. Hmm. I don't understand it. Well, um... It's, uh, it's, uh, see, I mean, it's, uh, uh, well, all right. I give up. I give up. I give up. I give up. Anyway, let me, let me, let me go to the people, and if I can't get them right, I'm just going to have to stop the show right now and I guess start it all over again or something. I don't know why all of a sudden we don't have the same people that we normally have here. I mean, we don't have the, the same, it's like, real staticky and all of that you know okay well anyway we'll just go over and see our citizen panel and see what's happening there hello are you there guys yeah uh, yeah kind of yeah everybody else is uh well now we're kind of now all of a sudden i'm in sync everywhere i don't know i don't understand it I was, uh, there was a, like a lag or something, a strange little lag that we had, and I, I didn't quite understand what it was, what was happening here. But I guess we're okay now, so uh, uh, I'm not going to argue that. What, what the hell went on? As soon as I went to you guys, it got better. Oh, well. Anyway, hello, everybody. How are you this evening? Good. If it isn't one thing, it's another fucking another, you know. Anyway, uh, hello to all of you, and uh, hello to uh, Trucker Steve, who is home now in Canada with yeah. his dog Rocky by his side. I would think that dog wouldn't want to have anything. Upstairs. Oh, he is upstairs. With my wife. Uh, because I, w I was going to say I would think that dog wouldn't want to have anything to do with you after taking all that mileage with you in the truck, you know. Uh, does, is yeah, he, but is, does he this weekend is my birthday, and... Remember when I bought my guitar and I said I bought a second one? Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, there Whoa. it is. Look nice. at that. Mm, that. Now all I was going to do is learn how to play. My Eddie Van Halen 5150. Really? Uh, Eddie how, Van Halen. How much did that set you back? Uh, believe it or not, only just under 400 bucks. Really? Oh. These guitars, if you were to buy it from his website... Mm -hmm. They go from anywhere from fifteen hundred to about five thousand. Wow! Wow! But terrific. You got it on Amazon. 
<laughs> no, he probably bought it on eBay. He probably got it in a yeah, bidding thing. Right. Eli bidding. Express. Well, where? What? Eli Express. Eli Express. Okay. Yeah. Whatever yeah. that is. All I had to do was learn how to play. Miami Van Halen, fifty-one Somebody's got somebody's got their audio up. Oh, Jeff! I know. I'm like double. Turn your audio. Uh, to get rid of your browser, or don't get rid of. Who knows? What, from his website. What? what uh, it goes from anywhere from fifteen hundred to about five thousand. I'll just wait. There we go. Yeah. Is that it? Oh, he hung up on us. Um, okay. Well, it. One way yeah, to get right yeah, comes back. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened to me. Uh, let's see here. And, and I don't know why I was, all of a sudden, I was like really slow and everything, and now everything is just fine when the cameras are in sync and it's all working fine. I, I have no idea. I just, I, I give up on all of this, okay? It's just too much for me. Anyway, beginning back to um, uh, Trucker Steve, uh, so uh, you uh, you got the guitar. Your birthday is when Saturday. Saturday. How old are you gonna be? Forty six. Forty six. Uh, okay. Does that make him the youngest guy here tonight? Oh yeah. Yep. Okay. He's the he's the kid. All right. Unless uh, well, if Tony calls, no, he'd still be older. Who oh else? yeah, Tony's still. Who else would be older? Um. If Patrick would probably Patrick, be a, we're all older. If Patrick were to call, he's about the same age you are. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Anyway. And maybe Josh is younger. Josh? Yeah, Josh isn't even 40 I, yet. Yeah, I think Josh is younger. Oh, really? I think so. Yeah, he's such an old soul. I just don't mm -hmm. even think of him as that. Oh, by the way, you know what I haven't done tonight? Does anybody notice what I haven't done tonight? I haven't done this. There we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, what did you do? I turned on my lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I turned them on. Now we're uh, all set to go. I give up. Yeah. <laughs> I give up. What? What are you going to say, Charlie? The chat room noticed that your light wasn't on. They commented a little while ago. Oh, Alex needs to put his light on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got so wound up in the fact that I was, uh, I was <laughs> laggy and stuff that I didn't... Uh, I didn't realize that I had to do that, so I, I did it. Now, are you happy there on the chat? Okay, the chat do is always do we, huh? Do we know what happened to Robert Natale? He hasn't been around lately. Uh, yeah, Robert hasn't been around. I don't know what's happened to Robert. You know, um, I could write him. You know, yeah. I I every now and then write him and say, "Where you been?" You know, I'd like every to, once in a while he disappears for a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. It's um, I yeah, uh, resistance is not futile, says the t shirt yeah. tonight, like the board. Yeah, okay, so it's not futile. Here Omega equals V slash one. See how good, yeah, resistance is voltage divided by current, absolutely. Yeah, okay, yeah. Ohm's law, Ohm's law, dead. Okay, anyway, so how are we all tonight? And you're horrible. perfect. Hmm? I'm horrible. Well, I just saw my doctor. <laughs> okay, well, wait, great. wait a minute. John Larkin is horrible. Let's go. Do we want to go to uh, Char why Charlie is great because his doctor gave him a good uh, thing? Yeah. Or do we want to go to great. John Larkin and hear why he's feeling terrible? Let's first go to Charlie. Let's get the good news. So you went to the doctor <laughs> today. And what did the doctor say? He said, my... My muscle tone is good, and uh, my neuropathy has not increased since he saw me six months ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm doing good. My my blood sugar is excellent. Yeah. So. Okay. So for a diabetic, that's all good news. <clears throat> yeah. Charlie, yeah. what's your A1C? Six point two. Nice. What is an A1C? They keep saying that on the ads for 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 diabetes, and it'll lower your A1C. What is the A1C? It's like your 90-day average for blood sugar. But I have no idea right? what the number. Snapshot of the past 90 days, <clears throat> blood sugar highs and lows. Yeah, yeah. Instead of like when you fast for a test, mm -hmm. and the next day they get just that one day. 
the A1C gets 90 days of ups and downs. Mm -hmm. So, um, huh. uh, yeah. So, I mean, like I have neuropathy, but I don't have diabetes. So that's, uh, I don't know no. if that's unusual, but it's, you know. I, I go to see my neurologist when, uh, mm -hmm. about a week from now. And, uh, yeah, I go see him and he does whatever he does. You, you don't have to be diabetic to know what your A1C is. Well, I don't care what my A1C is. Okay. I really well, don't care. They never used to test huh? for that until I became diabetic. I never heard of it. Yeah. That. Yeah. I mean, I asked my doctor once, am I diabetic? And he looked at the numbers and everything. He said, no, not even close. <laughs> you know, so he would wow, know. All this time, I, I thought they were talking about the steak sauce. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> A1C. So freaking yeah, stupid. Yeah, it's A1 with cinnamon. It's a new flavor yeah. they've got. Yeah. Now, let's go to John Larkin, who says he feels like shit. What, what's your problem, oh, John? I heard that my Oakland A's are to be the La Las Vegas A's pretty soon. Oh, really? Oh, they're going to follow the Raiders, huh? Yeah, because they won a new stadium, and Oakland is not going to build them a new stadium. They are not even said, he even said maybe Montreal might be interested in them. That would be cool. I would like to see them in Montreal, but anywhere but Vegas. Not that you would go to visit them. In Who place, wants right? to Don't play you? in 111 degree heat? Well, well they'd, they'd have, have to have a, a dome stadium. They, it would be a, a dome stadium. Really? Yeah. yeah. Because they they, they had one down yeah. there, and and they traded it in for an undome stadium. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, the other stadium in Houston is not a dome stadium, baseball stadium, right? Mm -hmm. It's a retractable. Uh, no, no, the roof opens and closes. It's retractable. Oh, I see. Has okay. The, has the Oakland Traders moved already? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they're the Los They've already they're played one year in Vegas. A couple of years. Los Angeles Traders. Well, Oakland I guess Traders. there's something. People must think that, uh, you know, Ray, uh, Oakland's a pretty shitty town if they're, you know, getting out of it that fast. No, they. they it's not that Oakland's a shitty town. It's just that they're not going to build a fucking pay for a stadium. <coughs> they don't want to spend the money for a new stadium. That's why. Well, what's Anything? wrong with the stadium they have? Uh, don't make enough money on concessions. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, they probably don't have those super <coughs> boxes yeah. for the rich people. It's really old and more uh, hot dogs. It's a mausoleum. <laughs> Let me get something here. I got it. I got it. I to play a ball game in that Oakland Coliseum, mm -hmm. yeah, foul territory is the so stadium, big. There's a lot of foul territory there. Yeah, yeah. It's some of the biggest uh, foul territory. But it's one of the stadium. oldest stadiums in the league. Wow. Yeah, it's the worst. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I was. Uh, I remember when I moved to Houston. The Astrodome was about a couple of years old, and um, they had a real problem there. Because they had the sky, the skylight. Yeah. And it was all crisscrossed like this, you know. And when a high fly ball went up, they couldn't see where it was. They lost it. They yeah. lost it completely. <laughs> so what they did is they then painted the, the windows on top of the, the Astrodome. And now all the grass died. So what did they do? They came up with a new product from Monsanto called Astrodome. Uh, and, yeah. and I remember... Turf, uh, turf. AstroTurf, excuse me, what did I call it? AstroDome. Astro oh, oh. A, yeah, so the AstroDome, they called it AstroTurf. <laughs> and I was one of the first people ever to walk on AstroTurf because I went to the, the presentation of it. And they said, everybody, come down to the field and feel how it feels. And I went, this feels like really stiff carpeting, you know. Uh, <laughs> players needs. But they had special cleats and stuff that they would wear to play on it and so on. And it, 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 were, it became the standard of the, uh, of the business. And now, do they grow grass now in dome stadiums, or do they, do they still use AstroTurf? Yeah, that's Actually, why they opened. Milwaukee has a, a roof, but they got grass on the field there. Oh, really? Okay. Niners so, have grass. Mm -hmm. Well, hello to um, hello to Kathleen. Thank you for joining us tonight, mm -hmm. Schmoody. You and your uh, owl that never leaves your balcony. Owl, yeah. <laughs> we have woodpeckers. You have woodpeckers. Yeah, and they're dumb. <laughs> Wait a minute. How are they dumb? I only have wood. <laughs> How are they dumb? 
Okay, so in Tracy, you know, um, they go, they're like Woody Woodpecker. Brr, brr. Here they go, thunk, thunk, thunk. And half the time, it's on the window. Oh, really? Yeah. I think what you've got, what you've got there, well, no, what you've yes. got, but what you've got there are retarded woodpeckers. Oh, you can't say that word anymore. Oh, excuse me. They're not retarded woodpeckers. They okay, are, mentally challenged. They are special woodpeckers. <laughs> yes, special. The fentanyl. Huh? Well, the fentanyl out there in the valley. The peckers, the peckers have gotten into the fentanyl and the uh, no fentanyl here. Only marijuana. The only marijuana <laughs> up where she lives. She's in the she's in the golden triangle up there. Yes. Yes. The so, emerald so, triangle. <laughs> I had a girlfriend who uh, lived up there, uh, and we would go to see her doctor that she worked for, and he was a he. What his whole business was was giving out these marijuana um, uh, recommendations. Prescriptions and well, they well, weren't called. Up. They weren't called prescriptions. Oh, they were yeah. called recommendations, so that they could go. He, you could go and get some pot and whatever, mm. you know. Uh, and then he would take us up to his apartment, and he lived in Mendocino, and if he had the best, that's the best pot I ever tried in my life. I mean, it was just ripe off the vine, right? And they well, kept, forget it, they Texas. shipped all the crap out of town. Just, they kept the, all, all the good the, stuff uh, themselves. What? Mm -hmm. what? What were you saying, Charlie? Yeah, we don't even have medical marijuana in Texas. Oh, so really? I'm pissed off at Texas. They yeah. just had their whole session, and they wouldn't even take up the bill on it. Well, we just legalized, uh -huh. we just legalized it here. So, yeah. you know, we're, we're, we're cool with that. Yes, no, uh, you uh, know, uh, time? Je Jeff's, got, what? Jeff's got a comment. Jeff? So, you know, our weather has mm -hmm. been kind of crappy for the last six months or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look what I got to do. What? Well, wait a minute. You got to. Yeah, but, oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Is that, a, is that a boat? Yeah. That's, that's your a sailboat. That's your wife sailing well, the sailboat. Sail God, I was going to say your hair style changed. I know, I know. I got a different mustache. When did you do yeah. that? When was that? Yesterday. Yesterday. I That's know. in Long Island Sound. That's, that's very great. nice. Oh, look. What is that? That's... Oh, wait. That's a dog at Ray Renati's place. Are you sure it's not Ray? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a dog. That's no, no, Ray no, Renati's like dog. Ray. Look, at, look at the look on its face. That's Ray. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. new green screens. Yeah. Yeah, you got to turn your mic on, uh, Ray. That was me. Yeah, that uh -huh. was you. Yeah. yeah. So you're home. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Doge. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I um, uh, I did something today. What? Well, hey, guess what did I do today? Walk. Huh? You. you took a walk. I took a walk, but I did something else. Use the toilet. No. Yeah, you put your on the train. <laughs> I went about I went I went about uh, two thirty in the afternoon. Cat. And no, I went about two thirty in the afternoon. What news came through about two o'clock? The mask. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah that's right. Oh yeah. I so took my first walk. I took my first walk in a year and a half without a mask. Without a mask. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know what it felt like the first time I ever went swimming nude. Right? <laughs> you know? Yeah, but this time you walked around, nobody cared when you went. And to my balls you. still didn't feel free, you know. That's right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> but I, it felt like the first time I ever swam naked. It was like I'm not wearing a mask. Hell, and I was waiting for somebody to go wear a mask, man. Yeah. And I'm like going to say did when you were uh, swimming naked. And then I would say the man. CDC told me I didn't have to, you know. I just went to the park and I was the only one not wearing the mask. Right. Really? Well, state of California yeah. is not gonna not gonna loosen it right now. Well, it no, they're a, not. Uh, I think they will. I think if the CDC oh, says I've it's loosened okay. it for myself. Well, I think if the CDC says it's okay, you know, I mean, uh, uh, are we gonna listen to Gavin, Doctor Gavin Newsom, or are we gonna listen to the CDC and Doctor mm -hmm. Fauci? Exactly. Uh, and what they're saying is, if you've had both your shots, and you're two weeks since your last shot. Right. You don't need to wear a mask anywhere. 
uh, which is kind of a good deal because uh, this is going to make people want to go out and get the shot, you know. But if but the question is how they're going to enforce it, okay? Mm. How do they know if somebody's not wearing a mask that they've had their second shot? They don't. You know, the what, they're going to show them the, the, the little card? Those things are being sold on eBay for like... If, Twenty dollars, you know, mm -hmm. or less, That's crazy, or, or less, and they can, you can fill them out. Uh, the thing that works, of course, is what I had on my phone, which is the thing that uh, New York put out, which is the uh, uh, the the New York State wallet, which looks like this. Okay, yeah, the and then you poke it on there, and what do you get? You get a barcode. Okay, so yeah, it's been copied already. The CDC said, actually, Dr. Fauci said. That these things are not secure yet. Well, this is secure enough because this has to go. To, you have to go to the state to verify who you are, so they can look in their records. So they can look in their records and then issue you this, okay? And so and so you. It, I had to go to a, to the state computers in order for it to say, yeah, we have you listed. I put in my name. I put in my. Um, my uh, the date that I got my uh, second shot, mm -hmm. and uh, there were a few other questions to make sure it was me. Okay, Are you really Alex and, Bennett? And then no. it it uh, vouched for me and said, "Go ahead, you know, uh -huh. you're you're cool." So yeah, but some program will hack that. Well, yeah. they they might it's hack. Been done. <laughs> I don't know it's if they can. Already been done. I, I don't know if they can hack it necessarily, or at least <laughs> easily. They'll make a picture that looks like that. And then some guy in Ukraine is like, I am vaccinated. I am Alex Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> so if they can if they can get into this huge gas pipeline, the state of New York is pretty helpless from a somebody. I I don't think Speaking I. Speaking though, what? Do you see these idiots getting these plastic bags full of gasoline <laughs> yeah. and putting them in the trunk? And did you see where one car blew up? Yeah. No. That's hilarious. A Hummer. Yeah. Was it a Hummer? Yep. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. And, you know, the insurance doesn't cover that because you can't transport dangerous materials in your car and be covered by insurance. And it sounds like the guy was transporting dangerous materials before he picked it up. Yeah. His yes. brain was dangerous. God, that's so In stupid. his die-cast plastic Hummer. <laughs> Talk about Darwin Award. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, uh, it, it this is pretty hard to to fake only because um, it, it you have to go it has to go to the state to approve it and have it say okay this is you this is your card okay so it, we can't it's better make Shrinky Dink. Like back it, in the seventies, little than those, shrinky dinky better, vaccination cards. Well, the, the the vaccination cards. I mean, they're so easily forged. You know. I'm turning one on my my printer here. What? Yes. I can just turn one on my printer. Are <laughs> yeah. you starting to sound like, sound like Dan Meyer now? <laughs> Gee, we haven't heard from Dan Meyer in a while either. <laughs> And the school district probably fired him for the things that he said on the Alex Bennett show. Well, well the thing is with Dan, I mean, we he came on for like a, a two weeks solid, you know, and then he disappeared again. Yeah. You know, how about he, how about Rob? How come Rob? Uh, Rob? Yeah. Rob doesn't call anymore. He doesn't want to yeah. call anymore. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's still doing wow. the voice around here, but he, he doesn't like he, Alan. Uh, <laughs> Alan. <laughs> no, he just uh, he just uh, he felt that uh, the politics was kind of getting him too agitated, and so he just yeah. didn't want to deal with it, you know. And he's got his own little thing he's doing. And what do you want to talk about? Dryer sheets going round and round. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with talking about dryer sheets going around? That politics is more exciting for a talk show. Than, than dryer sheets? Are you kidding me? Absolutely. Yeah. No, Come I'll on. take dryer sheets over politics. Well, let me ask you here, and this is important. What what kind of dryer sheet do you use, uh, Jeff? <laughs> no, no, I know. What's your preference for dryer sheets? Dry, you know, for the, uh, what do you call it? Well, the softener thing. Yeah. Ouch. 
You mean the stuff that we squirt in there? No, 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 no. The, you no, throw you in the little, the little the dryer with your clothes in the dryer. Dryer stuff, you know. And that little... way it leaves your clothes smelling nasty. No, I don't do anything. In yeah. the dryer. Thank I don't you. Do By the way, Marjorie won't let me use any of those. I don't blame her. Because she, well, because she feels that the the perfumes to begin with make her itch. Oh. Okay. And uh, and I agree with her. It's you know she doesn't like those additives. But she's got They're environmental problems. She's, Absolutely. she's into this whole thing where, like, uh, we have in the bathroom uh, so that we can spray after we lay a stink in the place. All right. But she uses the, the spray that has no, uh, uh, it's all natural. You know, it's like natural citrus smell. And so now, whenever we have, she has one on her side of the bed, and I have one on my side of the bed, and when either of us fart, you get two we feet. spray, so now yep, the room the, the room is filled with this this wonderful odor of orange spray mixed with farts, and God <laughs> someone should fart again, and you all go up in flames. That's right. That's right. You know, it, it, it's when you fart, Alex, and say nothing, and she says, "You do you smell egg salad." <laughs> Hell no. No, uh, 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 Kathleen, uh, uh, Kathleen and I used to have farting contests. Uh, <laughs> and I won, didn't I, Kathleen? Oh my God! Here's how I won. Yes. One day we had, a, I had this uh, back stairwell. It was kind of like a fire escape type stairwell. It was yeah, made out of metal. We had the catwalk between the two apartments. Yeah, and it, it and I had a. a you, you went up I this. this. You went up this. Uh, <laughs> This, these stairs, and yep. one day I was walking up the stairs, and she was walking right above me, about ass level. Fire in the hole. And I let one go. Yep. And you had to admit that was the best ever, right? I oh, was the was winner. So I won. I won. I heard, I heard she had to jump out of the way. No, you know what? Quite seriously, my mom would have been absolutely 100% proud. She would have said, oh, yes, Alex. Because my mom would have done that to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. So, yeah. Hey, would you guys mind having a, a contest on here? No, uh, on, we, on we, we're, through, yeah. we're through with that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Plus but the fact that I have a, she has a great disadvantage against me because I'm older than her. And, yes. And we fart a lot better and a lot more than younger people. So <laughs> yeah. it would be an unfair have advantage a contest, now. Let me know. I'll eat a bunch of broccoli ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> it's only two ninety nine a pound. Wait a minute, right? does broccoli do it? Yes. Oh yes. Oh, when yeah. I had my son, and I would breastfeed my son, and mm -hmm. I would take him over to my best friend's house, <laughs> and then I'd get back, and man, the look she gave me, I was like, "Hey, sorry," because <laughs> she had to change his diaper. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. All right. Okay. Bad. Yeah. You bet. You bet broccoli. Pass and gas. Yeah. Mm. But anyway, it. I got to tell you, this whole idea of not be, having to uh, worry about um, masks. I mean, I just, I had a really nice walk today, you know, because the mask, I, I didn't feel lightheaded or whatever from wearing the mask while I was walking. And it, it felt really good. And, you know, they, they say uh, you don't have to maintain social distancing, but I do. You know, I, I stay far enough away from other people so that I, I, I'm not playing with fire. But, you know, I'm, <laughs> what? Fire. Fire in the hole. What? Why was fire suddenly funny? I don't know, because I thought of somebody lighting a fart. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I hate when you do that and the, and the flame comes back and burns your ass hair. <laughs> Do you know, I've never, I've never, I have to say this, I've never done that in my life. Oh, I'm sorry. I've, no, I've never, I've never lit a fart. Jeff, Jeff is over there nodding his head. I know he's thinking he's never been able to get a fart. To okay, go very let far. me just take a little poll here because it's mainly guys, but I never know with Kathleen, you know. Nope. How many of you have lit a fart? Would you raise your hands, please? Only Ray. Really? <laughs> huh. 
Oh, hey, I was in it a was for theatrical I purposes. I, I would have thought. I would have thought Kathleen would have said she did it, but you never did. Nope. Huh? You know, the real question is: it Was it your own fart, Ray? <laughs> I can't remember. I was drunk. I, I think <laughs> it was either my roommates or mine. I don't. I, it was one of ours or both. The trouble is, when you're drunk and you're about ready to fart, you want to. I don't know. Sometimes things come out more than farts so <laughs> yeah, I, will. I just see the funny Terrific. side in life I don't know well yeah. I'll tell you something um, uh, methane uh, which is what that is yeah okay uh, is a combustible uh, uh, gas as you all know but you didn't know that the biggest place that they have fires methane fires is in garbage dumps mm-hmm yeah. Because as things yeah. desiccate, they turn to methane, and sometimes they have yeah. these large fires. And they built, they have a thing called the Shoreline Amphitheater, down in uh, where Mountain View. Mountain View. I live a yeah. mile and a half Mountain away View. from. It. Is it still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've been there. Well, the back times. lawn, the whole thing was built over a garbage dump. Yep. And they had a back lawn where people sat. Okay. And yep. one day, all of a sudden, it started shooting up flames. It seems that they built they built yeah. it over the garbage dump. Actually, that was yeah. Ray in the corner. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that was me after. That, no, but they a, they a, built it over drinking. they built it over garbage dump, and the garbage dump, but uh, the methane was uh, starting to you know people would light up a joint or something, and all of a sudden, fuck, you know, fire and, in the uh, hole. Yeah. They, yeah. You know what they've done yeah. now is they is they put these vents in there. Mm -hmm. they, they're they're vents in the grass, and then they've done that all over out there where oh. they cover the dump. And like about every hundred feet, there's a vent. So when he says dump, out. he really means dump. Yeah. Real yes. dump. Real dump. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. I thought I'd try something different. You know where the biggest methane places are naturally. Biggest methane places in well the back the dump, that cave. I'll buy that. Bat but there's cave. another place. Bat Caves? Union City. There you go. Not Union City. Hey, I live close. But um, no, um, no, where Peter. cows are raised. Oh, where cows? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 on Highway 5. Five. They are okay. actually in California down. You go down Highway 5, Harris Ranch in the middle of the state. Oh, that's gross. They're putting up tents and sucking up the methane and using it to power some power plants or something. Well, you know what? Nice. I, here is my theory. And nobody ever took me up on it you know we as humans produce methane too in our poop sure. that's why you can light a fart however however it's not quality in other words if you want quality methane cows have quality yeah, methane yeah. no because they eat yeah. hay and grass and things like that and these produce a very high quality methane all right but humans do produce methane and my idea was we're flushing down perfectly good energy in new york every single day why don't they collect all the poop extract the methane that we, they can get out of that and help power the city there you go now Why am i wrong that's that job. Uh, uh, yeah, send yeah. that to the governor and see what type of response you get well no i mean but am i right i think that's yeah, a they're good doing idea. That. because that, they're doing that all over the world a lot of a lot of uh cities have uh waste management programs where they you know, they, they transform their waste into energy. Yeah. Yeah, that must leave a kind of like smell in the air. Monster zinc, but crap. it would be shit zinc. Yeah. Something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Well, people can hey, make Alex, jokes can about... Can I switch to my computer? Can I hang up and switch to my computer? No, you can't. No. Nope. You, we won't allow you <laughs> to. <fired. laughs> oh, Go, Go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, by the way, let me ask a quick question of, of Charlie. I know you call Jack's show every night, right? Yeah. Uh, last night when he played the music, did you hear it? Yes, we did. First time ever. See, I told him. I told him I'd solve that. Uh, that's the problem I solved. Yeah. Over the phone. The trouble was that I listened to it, the show. The music was on during the whole show. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Kidding, I'm kidding. I just wanted to make sure these guys could hear it. I, it was a very simple problem to solve. Huh? And you know, Jack, Jack goes out and has these people come over and work on his on his computer and solve problems and everything. 
and they never ever thought of that one. Mm. You know, they never thought of that one. So for the longest time, you guys haven't been able to hear any music or, you know, whatever. So good. Anyway, oh, here comes Ray Renati. Should we let him on? Yeah. Bro, who are you? Here he comes. Denied. <laughs> denied. Yeah, I had a bunch of names tonight that I denied because they didn't look legit. Oh, there we go. Ray Renati, there we go. Okay. Uh, there's his... Uh, his uh, yeah. Software green screen that's breaking yeah, him up. No, he doesn't have a green screen. Oh, no, I, 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 I took it down... Uh, Software green screen. Yeah. That's why the cartoon the face of Senator Miller. Well, they keep saying, you know, now we don't need to have a green screen anymore because blah, blah, blah. No, yes, no, yes you, you do. do. I mean, this is this is a green screen, okay? Actually, I bought another. I bought the one you have, Alex, and I'm going to compare it to my other one and see which one I like better. Oh, you'll like this better. This is easy. This is like. Yeah, I know. A, the only thing is, oh. I can't stand for like auditions. And also, it doesn't have a blue side. The other one I got has a blue side. Which I need, which is better. Is it, no, no, it isn't. Oh, okay. No, well, no, they like it. No, no, if you don't put it back. It, it used no. to be they used to use blue screens, and they still do in movies. But no, they, yeah, I know. They basically yeah. used blue screens uh, for a while, but they changed to green screens because the idea was, especially when you're doing television, people would show up for the program. Hi. For the for show up for the program for the show. That was nice of your yeah. daughter to come on, Ray. No, no, no. What I meant, what I meant, Alan. Yeah, funny. No, but no, kidding, what what right? what happened is people would show up. Chances yeah. are they were not wearing green. Right. right. Okay. And so uh, uh, it was certainly it was my, far more useful. I mean, right. you know. No, I get it. What I meant was, is like sometimes they want you to do a self tape with a blank background and you just use the blue and it looks better than green. I mean, not as a, you know, not for green screen. Well, you can or, put up your green screen and then you can run a blue picture. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> <That can be. laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> no shit. Okay. Do I have to solve these simple problems? Is yes. this what I'm getting paid for on rate. this show? Buy a bunch of those dryer sheets. I think they're all green in color to start with. <laughs> yeah, just glue you them up. You can hang them up, tape them together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, oh, um, and let me see here. What, anything happening in the news? Oh, yeah. Well, they, they, they oh, did you hear? What did they pay the, the uh, consolidated paid the ransom for the yeah. hack? And the ransom yeah, cost happened, them. Because I heard they're back up. Yeah, it cost them $2 million. I heard $5 million. No, Please. I heard two. I don't well, know. it doesn't matter. I think they shouldn't matter. have paid it. Yeah, that's pocket change for those guys. Well, it, no, here's the problem. Yeah, it was pocket change for them. They paid it, all right? They're but, it but they're going to do it again to somebody else. Yeah. You know, but if they didn't get their money, they might give up on the whole idea. And if maybe it was solved in other ways with people going in and fixing the hack. Mm -hmm. You know, because let's face it, what happens is, is they go in, they do something, and then... Your whole system is fine. Hey. What? Oh, My cat, I'm having ice cream and peanut butter, and she's like, hey, I'll take some of that. Yeah. 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 Well, I thought maybe that was one of those lost woodpeckers. Yeah. yeah. What, someone got bribed? Is that what you're talking about? Anyway, a, anyway, what? Are you talking about somebody who got bribed? No, we were, yeah, we were, we were, talk talk we were talking about, uh, about the consolidated hack. hack. Oh, I didn't hear about this. I'll have to read oh, about the it. gas the hack. Gas pipe line? Oh, this has been going on for a week. A I big didn't know. gas hack. And the fact is that it, you all all they do is once you pay them the money and they have you do it in Bitcoin. Boy, this Bitcoin yeah. is wonderful, isn't it? People can anonymously hold yeah. you for uh, something yeah. for a ransom and get you to pay them using Bitcoin. Anyway, they they go for the Bitcoin deal and um they pay it off, but the fact is that, and then they give you a password that you put in, and it cleans, brings back all your stuff. You hope. It, oh. And sometimes it does not bring back all your stuff, because my dad had a cardiologist appointment in Petaluma, and his cardiologist was like, well, you know, we got hacked. 
for ransom. They took all the information. The FBI was involved, and this was in Petaluma. And uh, so they, the actors wanted six hundred grand. Mm-hmm. Um, they ended up paying two hundred grand, mm-hmm. and uh, um, they got they lost seventy percent of their patient information. Damn. Really? And it was apparently a group out of the Ukraine, according to the FBI. That was a good day for them, a good payoff. Yep. The scary well, the, thing to me is, mm-hmm. what happens, you pay them off, they give your software back, now you got to spend all the money to find out if they left a back door in it so they could do yep. it again later on. Well, And I asked him about the firewall, and I said, well, you know, what about upgrading your firewall? And he said, us being a small medical facility, it would cost us $2 million. Um, so it was better that we just pay 200000 than have to upgrade it. Well, here, here's a hack that I heard about uh, just the other day. I have a, what's called a QNAP, which is a RAID storage unit in which I can store, I have it set so it'll store 12 uh, gigabytes of information. Okay, and it's redundant so that if, let's say, one of the hard drives goes bad, it still works. Mm -hmm. And then I just put in a new hard drive and it rebuilds that hard drive. That's what a QNAP does. QNAP got hacked a couple of months ago, about a month ago, um, with with a, a, a ransomware program. And they were telling people who got hacked uh, $500. And they figured they got thousands of people that they, they hacked. And so $500, everybody will just come up with and say, okay, I'd rather pay it than go through the problem. Yeah. But that only means they're going to try again. I didn't get hacked. Uh, somehow I, I was oblivious to it. I don't know why. Maybe it's the way I have my QNAP set up. But uh, they went in through a back door and uh, fucked up everybody's machine, and then it, it take, took all the stuff and stored it in a uh, in a, in a, uh, a file that had to be decoded all your stuff in the one place where a locker where it was had to be decoded, and uh, you had to pay five hundred bucks to get the code. Now somebody paid the five hundred bucks, got the code, and then put the code online so that everybody else could use it and. Uh, and restore their machines. But I mean, they're even doing it to small people like me, you know, although as I say, I was lucky they didn't, they didn't go after me. But I'm thinking of changing companies and getting another thing other than a QNAP. So I'm assuming you know, that, you have, that you have antivirus, anti-malware software? There's anti-malware software in the QNAP. Right, oh, wow. okay. Wow, so, that's so cool. and they upgraded it just uh, after all this happened to prevent that particular hack from happening. That doesn't mean that another hack isn't going to happen. You know. You have a hard. No, I remember and a one. Soft or firewall. Oh, what? Sorry. Go ahead. Do I have what? Oh, I said, do you have a hardware and a software firewall? No. You have a software firewall which is built into your security software. I'm assuming. I don't know if I have a, a firewall actually. Uh, I think I do on the on the Mac itself, yeah. So so like I I I'm at home and all I do is play on the internet, and get on your show and do email. I don't really need anything, but I have two anti anti malware ransomware programs on my computer, and I have a software and a hardware firewall. Mm-hmm. So a friend of mine works in the security business and got me all this stuff for free, but. You know, it slows things down a little bit, but I don't know who'd want to hack me anyhow. I don't, everybody out there, I don't have anything worth this shit. So, you know, but uh, I don't keep passwords on my computer. Um, a lot of people do. They log into their favorite sites, and I think they're looking for problems. I do a, I have, I have a, I have a raid like you do, mm-hmm. or a backup drive or something like that. What kind do you have? It's a Western well, what digital you black. Say, oh, okay. Yeah. My yeah, big, okay, so one time my big brother's visiting from Washington and he gets a phone call and he goes, okay, I'll take care of it. My brother goes, hey, check this out. This is a software I designed. So this is when you used to get charged for texts. So he goes, okay, this guy, 
my buddy gave me his num this guy's number because he owes him some money. So this software I created, all I have to do is put in this number and say, Get, where's my fucking money? As soon as I hit send, he goes, 3, 2, 1, 15, 30, 45, 60. And so it kept charging this guy. Two hours later, his buddy calls him up and say, hey, 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 stop. He's at my house and he's paying me. So um, I said, do your friends, do your friends um, fear you? And he goes, if they do, I don't know why. So the software on my computer, if anyone tries to hack, he goes, what happens is a cat follows the mouse back to the den and blows up the motherboard. So the guy gets another computer and he hooks up to the internet, it blows up the motherboard. The guy gets it, he goes, the dude literally has to move in order for him to ever be able to get on the internet. And I thought, holy shit. Your brother wrote this program? This is my big brother, Jeff. Like one time, you know, I work on cars and I said, you know, I'd like a program. This isn't the one that worked for what, LucasArts? Or Lucas no, no. Okay. This is my big brother, Jeff. He's a year older than me. Yeah. So I said, you know, I'd like a program where I can work on cars that it gives me the expanded, you know, the whole schematic. And he goes, oh, yeah. So um, he calls me up and he goes, here, download this. Here's the um, registration for it. And so I go, okay, and I go, holy shit, it's a Mitchell program, and it automatically updates. So I want to work on my jet, and it gives me everything I need to do with the schematics all blown up. You know, up. you're confusing me. Well, I know I'm talking car stuff, and if I need the car worked on, what it does is you put in your zip code, and it'll say, what do you need done? You type in, and it'll say, it should only cost between this and this. And I go, how much does this program cost? And he goes, seven grand. Yeah, wait a minute, hold on a second. Isn't it nice to have Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's something places. wrong there's something wrong with my computer right now. I'm uh, somehow Ray Renati has a mustache and eyebrows. <laughs> well I've had those all night. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean I've try I've been trying to get to Charlie my, my for years now and I finally made it and you give me a hard time. You even have like a a, a spit it's a, a soul stinger? patch. Soul it's called patch. a soul a patch. soul patch like I have here. And that was hard. To, stingers. Yeah, stingers. Or push yeah. start. And, and what about the eyebrows? Well, that's penciled in. But <laughs> Lee I mean, I, I learned that from my Filipino uh, cleaning lady. But it's fine. <laughs> why, why is it moving? Ah, uh, shit. You look, you look <laughs> like a Mexican pimp. <laughs> Hey, I resemble that remark. Hey. Reynosa Renati. Hey. Ah, andale, pendejo. Chico la madre. Taco Bell. When did you put that on? At what point in this program? Was that when you went around the back? I just did it like 25 seconds ago. Oh, you really? Know. You saw it like right away. Well, of course I saw it right away. Yeah. Alex is on top of it, Ray. That's I mean, his, well, you know, that's Charlie, his job. He's a professional. Charlie got six Z's, you know, six minutes of sleep the other night mm -hmm. before Alex noticed. Yeah. Yeah, we had to like, wake him up. That, that was, was tough funny. waking you up, Charlie. <laughs> I mean, you were like gone. That's right. Ray yeah. came over and offered to fart in your room, and that got you up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, he looks like Gaucho Renati. Groucho yeah. Renati, I love Groucho? it. Groucho? Groucho? Oh, where's my glasses? <laughs> He's got to be missing a front tooth to be Groucho. You know? <laughs> That's perfect. The, the little boy, he comes bar. down and says, hello. Actually, you look good. <laughs> I know. I'm going to have to go this way, I think. <laughs> so, uh, John Larkin, right? how's your health? Is your, you, you got rid of the uh, shingles are gone? Uh, not Well, you know, I, I'm not sure it really was shingles, it, but because it, whatever it is, it still itches. By the way, folks, welcome to our program where we talk about our health problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Babies? <laughs> I don't know. It's um, psoriasis, maybe. It's only mm. on my scalp. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It, it doesn't... Um, Might be psoriasis. It's not quite as bad as it was. But yeah. You tried washing your hair? <laughs> <laughs> but John, you're the reason I got the shingles vaccine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really? You and John were, like, close? 
No, because, because <laughs> of the pain he was in. I didn't want to be in pain. Nope. I have the shingle. I got the shingles. A uh, uh, shot. I got the shingles once, too. Up in Mendocino. Really? I went to Mendocino. When I went to Mendocino, I went to see that doctor because I had this thing here that was just killing me right around my eye. And he, I went over, and he said, oh, you've got shingles. And I said, I thought that was something you got in your ass. You know, I mean, it always sounded like something you should get in your ass, ass right? Shingles. And he said, no, this is what this is, and blah, 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 blah. And uh, go over quickly, uh, here's a prescription, get the prescription filled, start taking the pills. He said, because you're, you're just about two days away from losing your sight. Jeez. Wow. Yeah. Jesus. So I took it, and it uh, cleared it up. But, and it's never come back. But the funny part about it was is that I, in order to have the shingles, you had to have had, uh, what do you call it when you were a chicken kid? Pox. A chicken pox. Yeah. yeah. And I had never had chicken pox, to my knowledge. Okay? And oh, then I had, I, had a, I had a girlfriend who came down with chicken pox at 23, and I never caught it. She said, oh, you're going to get it for sure. I mean, like, she wanted me to have it for sure. But, you know, she said, you're going to have it for sure. And I never got it. And as I thought back on it, the reason I probably never got it is somewhere when I was a kid, I may have gotten chicken pox, but a very light version of it that I, I didn't know I had it, you know, and nobody noticed that I had it and that I had it. And then, you know, I was resistant to it once somebody, I was exposed to somebody else who had it. So that later on, when I got this, of course, it all made sense. At some time, I had to have had chicken pox, but not known it. So, I had it when I was 26, chicken pox, and I was in Utah. Wow. And I broke out all over, and I went to the hospital. But I wasn't sick. I just had the pox every when I was itching. Yeah. I wasn't ill. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I had it in high school. You had it in high school? Wow. Yeah. Did you ever get shingles? Did you get, did you get a shingle shot? Uh, yeah, I would go get oh, a shingle shot. Shingles. Oh, I would go get a shingle shot just well, to be on the safe side. Box, you can have shingles. Yeah, because it, you, if you had shingles, mm. you could have chicken pox. I got it at uh, sixty or something like that. You know the, yeah, the I get shingles. The shot. Yeah, get the shot. Shot. it's two easy shots. Yeah, it's, it's so it, easy. It's worth it. Don't want shingles because they can make you really, really sick. Absolutely. As Alec just said. Well, no. you had it, right, John Larkin? That was your problem. Well, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what it was, you know. I mean, I thought it was, but, you know, there was no, it's only on my scalp, you know, and it just itches. Where did you, know? you go? Yeah. Where did you, where did you go to have it analyzed? I went to Kaiser. But oh, well, that's the reason it. why you don't know. Yeah, they didn't really <laughs> analyze it. They just go, here, take these pills, and the pills never really helped that much. And oh, really? They gave me, like, uh, this, this, you know, stuff you rub on your skin for uh, arthritis, and I'm like, I'm not going to fucking rub that shit in my hair. Hair, yeah. Hey, your like hair can go gray. Yeah, I was like fucking Ben Gay. I'm going to put that in my no hair. No wonder your hair got gray. Jeez. <laughs> my hair's always been gray since you guys uh, known me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but, you know, that's that's the least of my worries. I got a transvestite who lives in the the, the room next to me, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she screams and argues with herself. I mean, just you know, like crunch. Go over there and keep her company. No, I mean just, it just you know, like she'll be just yelling and screaming, and I'm like, fuck, is there somebody in there, or is she just screaming at herself? <laughs> hmm. It's crazy. Life wow. in the tenderloin. <laughs> so where's oh, Neri tonight? Neri isn't here either. Yeah. It's Thursday. A lot of times he works at his new plant on Thursday. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Maybe he's, I was yeah. just thinking, Isn't maybe Thursday? maybe he's just yes. tiring of the game, you know. Does Patrick come on anymore? Patrick was on about a week ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, he came by about a week Good ago. Good to see him. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Neary, uh, uh, you know, maybe he's tiring of the game a little bit. I don't know. But, but How could you get tired of this? Oh, Easy. You know, that hot wife to spend time with. Yeah, well, that's yeah. true. That's true. You know. <laughs> I I think that we ought to go back to you taking your temperature every fifteen minutes. 
I don't need to anymore. You know, I, 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 that fear is gone now. I mean, that Good. was that was the worst medical fear I've had in my oh, lifetime. Yeah. I, I, for all of us. You know, I mean, especially if you're older, you know. Like most of us are. Yeah. I mean, well, they didn't Jeff. They take my temperature when I went to the doctors. Really? They, they quit doing it. I mean, le- I mean, three months ago they, they did, but today they didn't. Does yeah. anybody know the difference between it, since we're on medical stuff, an oral thermometer and a rectal thermometer? Yes. Oh, my God, this again. Yes. A rectal thermometer is like from the 70s. And you stick it up an your ass. An oral ass. thermometer. <laughs> so the rec- I, I looked it up. Okay, the rectal thermometer has a longer piece of metal at the end. No, it has a thinner, stubbier. Oh. Oh, okay. oh you got them mixed up? Oh. Shit! <laughs> Shit! No wonder it tasted so funny. I thought they were making them chocolate flavored. Damn yeah. it! I think the rectal <laughs> thermometer would be longer. But uh, uh, no, I All mean, right, they're stuff Supposedly, here. rectal thermometers are more accurate. They are. Yeah. In France, that's all they do. Like when you go to France, take your temperature. Well, they figure you like it. You know. Oh yeah, they do. It's like I want to take my temperature. I always like to talk. I always like to talk about this doctor here in New York. That every time I would go to him, no matter what was wrong, I got a splinter in my hand. Okay, fine. Uh-oh. Bend over. <laughs> Bend over. And then he would stick his finger up my ass. This every time I went to him, no matter what I had, he stuck his finger up my ass. And finally, I said to him one time, "Really, this is true." I said, "Why is it every time I come in here, you stick your finger up my ass?" He says, "You like it, don't you?" <laughs> he's checking his your temperature, Alex. He sticks your finger in there, and when you walk out, he licks it off. Oh, stop oh, it! No. Stop it! Oh, stop it! Stop, oh, it. Sorry. stop oh. it! I don't want to get demonetized for this show tonight. Okay. Demonetized. Yeah. Yeah. But you I, know, COVID didn't scare me at all. COVID. I worried about my son, but once they shut everything down, he was at home. But for me, I was like, just wear a mask, wash your hands. I mean, for well, also you lived in a in a suburb kind of area, and so I was working for freaking Costco. But luckily, I was working in their freezer building, which is thirty eight degrees, which probably killed the virus. But I don't know. Oh, by the way, thank God for Costco. Today they said it saved me another twenty five bucks. You know, with their with their with their uh, pharmacy, their mail in pharmacy, terrific, the best. It's the way Absolutely. to go. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. Check that out. And they are so they are so pleasant to deal with too. They are just the just an absolute delight. You know. And you know, working for them, they were an absolutely wonderful company. I mean, I started in October, and by February, I was employee of the month. But, you know, it took them a while to realize, you know, I worked for a company where nothing was on a pallet. Yeah. And so when I won the, I was shocked. They were all speech, speech, speech. And I said, hey, listen, man, you guys are spoiled. Well, well I've I got I've got to shut you down right now because we're coming what? to the end of the show here. You hear that music? Yes. I hope you hear the music. Everything's got all the red out. It looks nice. Her glowing skin and everything. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Alex didn't even notice that. He noticed the uh, the Frito Bandito man over here. Well, his mustache <laughs> is gone now. Uh, thank you, uh, Trucker Steve. Good to see you again. Uh, happy birthday. If I don't have a chance to wish you happy birthday, I'll do it, but hopefully I'll do it tomorrow night. Alan, thank you for being with us. Charlie Wallace, always a pleasure. Of course, it's wonderful uh, to have uh, John Larkin with us and Jeff with us and Kathleen, better known as Schmoody. Wait a minute, did you just put that on? Yeah, I, I just <laughs> grew a new one. <laughs> oh, that's 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 one of the ones that you can put on through the, the thing, yeah. Okay, anyway, listen. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you again <laughs> tomorrow <looking> night. <laughs> Same time. Yeah, give yourself a big uh, wave goodbye and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? As we uh, say goodbye to our people out there, there they go. Bye. For some reason, I'm all um, all uh, stiff again and kind of got a little lag and so on. I don't understand this. What is this? Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. We'll see you again tomorrow night, 10:30 Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, Jack Bishop is next. 
He's here with the, uh, the intersection. In the meantime, I'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. And uh, be safe out there. If you have to and you aren't vaccinated, wear a mask. And if you need to wear a mask, go get vaccinated. See you tomorrow night. Bye. Bye.